Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So in this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem after to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 139 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Golden. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, commit the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to the corners, and have fun. You ready? You ready? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. We've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Let's go, let's go! Keep that forward! All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Big punch lands. Ooh. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Big kick. 
Just missed with the left there. It's such a fast leg kick. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, that's a good knee to the body there by Lee. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Effective strike there by Lee. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Just over three minutes to go, round one. with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevented from landing. Ooh, what a head kick. Nice. Job of landing that kick over and over again. Huge block there. Over and over again. Big body kicks. He's grabbing the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really's got his opponent on notice here. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. There, huge block. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh, big punch land. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Final seconds. Round two next. All right, what a round it was for him. A lot of head kicks landed, scrambled eggs on the other side. We'll see if he can recover. He does a great job of hiding it. He gives you no tell. He doesn't show you when he's coming. That's why those kicks have continued to land, even though he's done it multiple times. All right, here we go as our next round gets Ready. underway. That was some serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angles. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up? A beautiful strike like that knee with. We'll see very shortly. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. that kick. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Just over three minutes now to go. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Damaging strike there. He closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Right hand upstairs! It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, and he caught the kick! with a right hand. Stop Get that high kick up there. Lee's kick blocked. Ooh, big shot lands. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Gotta be careful here, though, not to gas out. Fifteen seconds. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, now we'll get you some highlights, DC, from that previous round. You know he's got a pension for landing those head kicks and certainly found that form in that previous round. Very rarely do you get a fight where a guy gets kicked in the head this many times. 
He better make some adjustments. He better keep his hands up, or he's gonna go good night very soon. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Good stick. Ball left hook to the head. It's blocked. Nice kick. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Beautiful punch. Look at the angle of that nice body punch. The bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with the head kick. Now he has to find one more strike in the night. Oh, huge block. Just over three minutes to go in round three. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Try to establish that jab. Oh, that's a nice strike. Big kick land. Jab, no good. Slips the punch nicely there. A oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Lee gets caught with that punch. Liver kick. 15 seconds.
beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. Look at him on the stool. He's still wobbling. This round, want you to put the pressure on him. Get right in his face. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Just out of range with that right hand. Nice punch here. And he caught the kick. Good right hand. Oh, nice right hand. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Nice connection on the counter punch there. And Sometimes DC can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Big kick land. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Lee gets caught with that punch. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Big body kick. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that cut. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's poured blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Going orthodox now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Lee's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Real sneak by kick. Under one minute remains in round four. That's a big strike right there. Able to land with the body there with the left kick. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Big body. Thirty 
seconds now to go in the round. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Just out of range with that right hand. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Twenty minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. Head kicks upon head kicks, man. I mean, generally you don't take this many head kicks. Right. You get one and you go to sleep. But he's been able to withstand it. But I'm telling you, man, he takes one more and he takes one more clean. His night's over. All right, next round getting underway here, and both fighters still look pretty fresh to me. Clearly, DC, they put in the right work when it came to the cardio during training. They both have reputation for vast cardio. You see in the training that they do at their gyms that cardio is key, and you watch it in the way that these two fighters perform. Beautiful kick. A head kick attempt. It is blocked by Lee. Nice head kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. That right hand landed. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Oh, that strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Nice punch lands. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his body? His opponent will likely continue to attack. Now connects with a right. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Lee. Wow, huge head kick. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Nice spinning attack there, and able to land to the body. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy anymore. Look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice leg kick. Nice punch lands over the top. And they separate. Nice body kick. Superman punch is true. Can't take many of those, you better check. Over the top, this fight's gonna be over this year. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course, he mixed it up, he went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Beautiful strike. Beautiful leg kick throw. 90 seconds remain in the fight. Big kick. Lee's head kick is blocked. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick.
Big punch lands through the middle. Big leg kick lands. One minute to go in the fight. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Uppercut lands. Nice leg kick lands. Back to the jab now, no good. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. 15 seconds remain in the round. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And they separate. What a fight! All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. See how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that start to finish, and he wins a unanimous decision.